Hello there, welcome to the last video in this Gearbox tutorial series. In this episode we'll look at the World Tool, the last one in the demo we haven't covered yet, and we'll also talk in more detail about saving and loading. So first let's introduce the World Tool. So if we select it, you can see all of the constructions currently in the world, including the player character which is just another construction. If we select one, you can see there's a row of operations here, much as you'd get in the construction UI, with the addition of a select option. So let's try that. So there you can see you can select a construction from anywhere in the world. We can try a different one. Let's select this one. You can see we can freeze and unfreeze that, like that. You can select multiple constructions. If you do that, some operations won't be available, but we can still freeze and unfreeze these together. Or turn on their part behaviors and turn them off like that. You can deselect everything by just clicking here or select all of the constructions by clicking this button. When you start a new world there are options under settings for time of day and so on but you can change these as well while you're in the game using the world tool. Under the settings tab for example we could change the time of day like that. Next let's talk about saving with tags. So we've already seen in a previous video how to save a construction. And give it a name. But this time we'll also give it a tag. Like that. Let's have a look at the save constructions. And you can see this one has that tag now. If you select a tag up here, it will filter out all the other constructions, only showing the ones with that tag. If we take a look at the built-in example constructions, we can try here as well. So if we select this tag, only the constructions with that tag will show. And you can select multiple tags as well. So now any construction with one or other or both of those tags will show. But if we change to match all, then they have to have both tags. So tags are a good way to organize your saves and categorize everything. Next let's talk about saving the world versus saving a construction. So we've already just seen how to save a construction, but if you want to save the entire scene or the, or the entire world, we can do that here. So let's just give it a name. I'm not going to give it, bother giving it a description this time, but you get the idea, and then we can load it from here, like that. Okay, well, that's it for this one. Just a short video this time. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this tutorial series. These videos have only really scratched the surface of what you can do in the game, but hopefully they've been helpful enough to get you started building in Gearblocks. Best of luck with your creations, and thanks for watching.